DOH has already completed, you may know this already, over 1,300 projects statewide and many more to accomplish with Roads to Prosperity. So today, we're here to celebrate on a rainy day. If you remember, some of you were here November the 8th, 2019, in this very location, as we did the groundbreaking for the highway behind me. So we're celebrating today because it's done. It's done. We know, believe me, we, we knew firsthand that um, all the drivers have dealt with construction delays, potholes, rough circles, uneven lanes, and detours, but that's required for road construction. Today it's done. Say it with me. Today it's done. Today it's done. <laughs> Very good, you all. We well, started, uh, you know, Veterans Day was last week and uh, I'd like to recognize our veterans. Uh, veterans or active military with us today, if you would, please stand. Thank you, thank you. I'd also like to recognize, Arla, if you continue standing, one veteran in particular. He's retired U.S. Army Sergeant Arlie Matney, formerly of the 82nd Airborne who also is an employee of the West Virginia Division of Highways. Now, Arlie, would you please uh, lead our veterans along with the audience in the Pledge of Allegiance. It's so important we do that every time. Everyone here today, along with the rest of the traveling public, has and will continue with the West Virginia Roads to Prosperity. Take a look at the monitor. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me as we go back in time to the year 2017. In that fateful year, Governor Jim Justice asked Mountain State voters to approve a massive bond sale to pull West Virginia's aging infrastructure into the 21st century. By an overwhelming 73% majority, voters approved $2.8 billion in bonds, the greatest infrastructure investment in Mountain State history. In the seven years since Roads to Prosperity, as the program was called, has allowed Governor Justice and the West Virginia Department of Transportation to take on an unprecedented number of construction projects in every corner of West Virginia, the likes of which could only be imagined before. Projects like the rebuilding and rehabilitation of 26 bridges on Interstate 70 in Wheeling, the five-lane upgrade on Jefferson Road in Kanawha County, the widening of the West Virginia Turnpike near Beckley, the widening of Interstate 64 in Cabell County, the King Cole Highway, the Coalfields Expressway, Appalachian Corridor H, the Ruby Bradley Bridge in Spencer, the Scott Miller Bypass on US Route 33, and finally, the event which has brought us all here today, completion of the $254 million widening project on I-64 from Nitro to the US-35 exit and the completion of the two bridges across the Canal River where we stand today. As you can see, the past seven years have truly taken us back to the future. And the future is now. remember the original Donald Leg Memorial Bridge, which stood where the new bridge is now, as we go back in time and back to the future. The original bridge was completed in December of 1963. Now, 60 years later, we're proud to be here today to celebrate this opening of the new St. Albans Nitro Bridge. As we begin our celebration, I look around the audience, we mostly know each other, but I want to introduce and recognize some special folks here. You're all um, certainly part of the celebration here, but as we begin, I'd like to recognize our federal highway partners, Mr. John Rogers, up here in the front row. My 
Russell, and we have the Lieutenant of Case Roll. Take off and swear with Scott James. From the Contractors Association of West Virginia, Mr. Jason Pizzatello. That's uh, here. Yeah. From Grayman Construction, one of our contractors, Kevin Mead and Tom Hesman. Joe? And I said one of our contractors, because we had two. This was a big job. Trumbull co contractor, Jeff Slazak. Jeff, right here. From our front office, our executive assistants. So glad they're able to be here today. Lori Hodges and Lori Sweet. She's sweet, but she prefers to be called Sue, but Lord, we're glad you're here. Uh, Joe Pack. Joe's our Chief Engineer of uh, District Operations. Joe. Uh, Jason Foster, Chief Engineer of Development. I saw, here he is. Nate Tommy, Nate's our legal counselor, so no one sits in the mud hole today. From the project itself, Jason Hamilton is here, and Carl Davis, working for highways. On this project. Uh, let's see, Secretary, Division of Arts, Culture, and History, Randall Reed Smith. Okay, thank you. I saw Todd Gunner with uh, Secretary Shelley Campos' office. Uh, Stephen Carr, I believe, very good, he's here. Did Stephen Jeffers make it by chance? We, oh, you did make it. Welcome, Stephen. Uh, Delegate uh, Shamlin, are you with us? Are you in the front? And let's see, make sure, um, I'm really hoping I didn't miss anybody. Oh, our designer of the project, Jason Fuller. Jason? Thank you. Good, good work. And also, uh, I want to thank Jerry Chandler. Jerry owns this property, American Equipment, and he told me to let you know he's uh, featuring a 50% off on any trailer you see today. <laughs> Take it with you. Jerry's been a prince to work with. He uh, basically gave up his operation here for the past few days so we could facilitate our celebration here today. Well, I introduced our federal partners earlier, and uh, we, depend on, we depend on them, of course, road building here in the state. And um, we're fortunate to have federal partners in Washington who can, we can call and who cares about West Virginia's transportation system all 36,000 miles. Our first speaker is the, and you know him well, Commissioner of Highways, Secretary of Transportation. Interesting though, maybe you've not heard his bio. He previously served as Deputy Secretary and Deputy Commissioner, Chief Transportation Engineer slash Special Projects Manager, Engineering Advisor. Should have seen the size of his business card. Oh my. He did uh, special structures as project manager for engineering division, and he began his career with the West Virginia Division of Highways as the regional design engineer down in, in District 9. This is where it gets interesting. He attended West Virginia Institute of Technology, and he graduated Magna Cum Laude with a bachelor's degree in civil engineering after obtaining his general equivalency diploma in his 30s. Following a career in everything from machinery to construction projects, get this, managing a pizza restaurant. He is a champion for education and believes West Virginia Department of Transportation has the ability and the capability to be the best educated DOT in the country, citing his own example of overcoming the stigma of a young man who dropped out of high school to go to work as a young age to the role he now holds as the manager and director of the Department of Transportation. And he'll tell you it's because made possible by hard work and seeking a continual education. We're delighted to have him here today. Would you please welcome Mr. Jimmy Riston. Thank you, Randy. Thank you very much. Guys, this, this one is the big one. This is the big one. This is the centerpiece of the Roads to Prosperity program, the largest project that, that, that we accomplished. Out of those 1,300, this, this could arguably be the most important. Serves the most people of all the projects in one single region. And it's not just those two big, magnificent bridges up there. There's a lot of ancillary work around these bridges. We, we purposely did, took care of the regional aspects of this project because that was the vision that the governor brought to us in 2017. 
to do these big, racially significant projects, to create instant jobs, put those opportunities for economic development in place, to get the infrastructure back to the shape that our citizens want it, that our citizens deserve it to be in. This is exactly the vision the governor gave to me as I took over the helm here. And everybody in this crowd played, played a role in doing that. Uh, even, even, even you guys with the, with the vest on, you know who you are. Uh, getting out here and getting, getting the gravel in out here so that we wouldn't have the ladies messing up their shoes here. This is exactly what we wanted to do today. We, uh, we couldn't control the weather, but we certainly got this project done. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor, for, the, for your big, bold vision. And, and the vision doesn't stop there. We, we've continued to implement a secondary road initiative. We've gotten back to our roots in the Department of Transportation. Every one of the people in those vests out there know exactly what I'm talking about when I say you're working on your core maintenance plan. You're attacking the enemy. You're getting the things off the road that deteriorate our roads. We're doing things in a data-driven approach, and that's the way we're going to continue to, to operate in the Department of Transportation as we move forward. We have the blueprint. We have the model. We know exactly how to do this, and we're making progress like you wouldn't believe. 1,300 Roads to Prosperity projects completed. There's only a handful out there left. And every one of those are just as significant to the folks in those regions and in those areas. And we're going to get them done, too. So, Randy, you are absolutely right. It's done. Yeah. We've done a lot of events together over the last few years, Governor. A lot of events. We, we have cut ribbons on project after project that have lingered for decade after decade. Decade after decade. We've been cutting those ribbons just as fast as Randy can give us a pair of scissors. And we certainly got that done. We've, we've, we've done, done it again. This, one, this one's been a long time in the works. We're going, to get it, we're going to keep going until we get all of them done. And then we're going to finish quarter eight. We're going to finish the King Cole Highway. We're going to finish the Coalfields Expressway. We're going to get our infrastructure in the shape that everybody wants it and everybody deserves it to be. Because that's the vision was to put transportation out front, create those jobs, create those opportunities for development. Transportation touches every life in this state, and the governor knew that before any of the rest of us did. And that's where we are today. It's been a great honor for me to, to be able to tag along with you, Governor, and break ground and cut ribbons. It's an even greater honor for me to introduce the great governor of the state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. First of all, Randy, I don't know who put that together, but uh, I had no idea it was coming, and, and I, I watched what I could see, and I told Jimmy, you've got to get me a copy of it, And uh, but when that all is said and done, it almost brings tears to my eyes, because it is unbelievable what's happened. I mean, really and truly, there were there were lots and lots and lots of folks that when we started down this path said, there's no way we'll do it. There's no way that the voters will vote for it. And if they vote for it, we're just going to have to increase taxes and increase taxes. And there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. And then, like it or not like it, 73% of the people of this state rubbed it in their face. They really did. And they said, we want to go. We want to do it. And then when I sit and I think about all that stuff that's happened, it took our state off like nobody's business. And we can say anything we want to say, but we were stuck in a rut with nowhere to go. We were as bankrupt as bankrupt could ever possibly be. And lo and behold, here we are today. Here we are today on a day that is raining a little bit, but thank God it's raining a little bit so it'll stop the fires or stop the potential of the fires. We need to rain. We need to rain so badly for our agriculture. And we just, we just absolutely, you know, said at West Virginia State University, 
And we're going to have an ag lab that is state-of-the-art beyond belief. We're going to have the, the trampoline that will, you know, absolutely propel all of us to do all kinds of great stuff at that great school. You know, I really believed. I believed with all in me. I, I did with everything I had that, that really putting all of our labs just together up on a hill, yay, yay. But when you put that lab at a university, it changes lives. And absolutely, I am so proud that we did just that. Now, with all that being said, I won't keep you forever. This guy has done an unbelievable job. And we should be so proud of Jimmy Riston. So proud of Randy. So proud of all of y'all that are involved in this effort. Because whether you be in the legislature, you know, whether you be cabinet secretaries, whether you be all the people that are absolutely ramrodding all these projects, on and on and on, it's all of us that pulled it together. We did it. For God's sakes of living, we did it. Nobody would have ever thought it was possible to do. Nobody would have thought that. But we did it. And absolutely all of us should be super proud. Even Baby Dog. Now, Baby Dog, you got to get up. <laughs> but literally, literally, it makes me so proud. I mean, I cannot tell you that any, that any more than just this. It's been an honor in my life like no other to be able to be your governor. You know, I can remember just yesterday, and I've said it so many times, block it out. But I can remember being in the shower and absolutely knowing what the books were. And knowing we didn't have anywhere to turn. Honest to God, all we could come up with is cut more. And the more we cut, the more people left. Now that's all there is to it. The more we cut, more people left. And then all of a sudden we awaken to the fact that now we've cut so much that we've had to pull so much out of our rainy day fund that we don't have anywhere to turn. The bonds are getting, be, uh, getting ready to be derated. De so all that being said, where are you going to turn and what are you going to do? And I'd love to say, oh, this is all my idea. I think the good Lord uses every single one of you and me every day. And you see, he made me Jim Justice for a reason. He made Scott James for a reason. He made all of you who you are for a reason. And he expects us to work. With all that being said, there I am in the shower, block that out. <laughs> but there I am, and I just thought, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? How are we going to create a job? we got to have jobs. we got to have jobs now. And then it just hit me, and I truly believe this idea, and I really believe the good Lord. I'll let, you know, I'll absolutely take credit for the bad ideas, but I'm giving him all the credit for all the good ideas. You know, and with all that being said, there I am in the shower, and it just hits me, I wonder, just wonder, what it would cost, what it would cost to let every road job we had on the books, everything we thought about, let them all tomorrow. What would happen? And basically, that's the concept of what we did. And the voters said, okay, we're with you. We're with you. And here we go. And absolutely, we awakened to this day. We awakened to all the goodness on that video. We awakened to these surpluses. We awakened to who we are in West Virginia. And you know what else? The world, the world sees who you are now. They see how great you are. They do. I mean, I say it over and over, but who in West Virginia sign could have ever thunk it? That we in West Virginia would be on worldwide travel guides saying, West Virginia is a place to go. Are you kidding me? West Virginia is a place you ought to go. You see, we knew it. We knew it. The world absolutely would have never, ever thought it. Never in a million years. So with all that being said, Congratulations to you. We pulled the road together. Whether we were the legislature, 
whether we were our cabinet folks, where we were all you great companies, where we were all you great workers. God bless you, every last one of you. Whether you're this great man, or this great voice, or even baby dog. God bless all of you. Thank you so much. Governor, before we uh, cut, I'm going to invite a lot of folks up before we cut the ribbon. Before we do that, though, ladies, if you would, if you'll get your hardware handy, as we uh, alluded to up front, this project is done. Ladies, that's your cue. <laughs> All right, it's done. Ladies, help yourself. Throw. All right. Thanks to the Contractors Association of West Virginia, an It's Done t-shirt. out some scissors. I need Randall to come up here. Mayors, come on. Uh, you know, you know what would be cool to do, and we've never done this before, why don't we get everybody to come up? Let's put the scissors on the front row. You come up and stand on the stage, and we'll get everybody in the picture. What do you think? I mean, we're making history here today, so come on up. Two, three. 